Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the newsflash of Commodity TV. Astrogold provided an update regarding the amended environmental impact assessment on the Salavi Gold project, which was submitted by Astrogold in December 2013 already. The Geological and Mining Institute of Spain, the so-called IGME, conducted a study at the request of the Directorate General of Mining and Energy of the Principality of Asturias regarding the effects of the proposed Salavi mine operation. The IGME report produced from the study concludes that aquifers will not be affected by the proposed mine operation, which is positive for the project, of course. The study was conducted in February and March this year and focused on the hydrogeological characteristics of soil and water composition of the Lagunas de Silva and concluded that the proposed mine would have little to no effect on the existing water systems and that the application of passive treatment technologies in the Lagunas Lagunas de Silva areas would likely improve water quality. It also indicates that natural geologic barriers will confine waters to the mine area and not affect surrounding water resources. These barriers are also seen to prevent seawater inflows. Fission Uranium, ladies and gentlemen, had again fantastic results reported. The company announced again 2014 winter acid results from five holes drilled on the R780E zone at its Patterson Lake South property. Of particular note are holes 209, which returned composite acid intervals including nearly 22% U308 over 10 meters, within a larger interval of over 5% U308 over 57 meters, and PLS 14215, which returned turned composited assay intervals of 11.8% over 22 meters within a larger interval of over 6% use rear aid over nearly 50 meters. In both holes, high-grade mineralization was intercepted at shallow depths. All five holes returned wide, high-grade intervals. Some brokers already estimate 80 to 90 million pounds uranium for the first 43101 resource estimate, which is scheduled yeah, by year end, hopefully. Ross McElroy, President, CEO and Chief Geologist for Fission commented, these final assay results of the winter zone drilling on the main PL3B corridor represent some of the most robust assays confirmed mineralization on the R780E zone in the central and eastern areas and are a definitive conclusion to the winter drill program. With a total of 80 holes drilled completed on the main trend, a plus 97% mineralization intersection success rate, that means 78 of 80 holes intersected uranium, occurred. And they merged together four previously defined zones into one continuous zone, which is the R780E, at an 825 meter strike length. The winter program was very successfully establishing the PLS project as a premier uranium project in the Athabasca Basin region. Becky's Resources, ladies and gentlemen, announced that the Phase 3 Diamond Drill Program has commenced at the past producing Kovas Tungsten Project in northern Portugal. The initial program would include up to 15 shallow diamond drill holes, totaling approximately 1100 meters, designed to expand the known zones of tungsten mineralization on the property. The Phase 3 drilling program follows the successful Phase 1 and Phase 2 drill programs. The initial part of the Phase 3 drill program will center on the eastern part of the Covas project at the Lapa Grande, Muito Seco, Castello and Boundary targets, where previously drilling has indicated good potential for development of high-grade O3 resources. The immediate goal of the Phase 3 drill program is to increase and better define the mineralization in the areas of the historic high-grade tungsten resources and to potentially connect several of these areas. The second part of this program will be directed towards the Terhera target and other targets in the western portion of the Kovas property, where a significant amount of fieldwork was completed earlier this year. Review and interpretation of the data, which includes 7 kilometers of IP resistivity and magnetic geophysical data, is nearing completion. And the company expects to be able to drill up to5 more drill holes, totaling additional 200, maybe to 400 meters. We have visited the project in May and we look forward to the upcoming results. Thanks and bye bye from Munich.